Good evening, and welcome to the Pearl City High School Aloha Concert. I am Daniel Lim, Director of Bands at Highlands Intermediate, and I will be your MC for this evening. Before we begin, we have a very special presentation for Mr. Kamei. I'd like to introduce Pearl City High School Principal Joseph Hoffman, who will MC this special portion of the program. All right, good evening, everybody. I'm Joseph Hoffman, the principal here at Pearl City High School. So tonight we have a very special presentation for our director of bands here at Pearl City High School, Mr. Chadwick Kamei. We're extremely fortunate to have many special guests, as you can see, to help us celebrate this occasion. In a few moments, these guests will be making presentations, but before that, let's recognize them. So when I call your name, Please stand to be recognized. Governor David Ige. <laughs> Senate Vice President Michelle Kidani. <laughs> Senator Binet Misilucha. Senator Clarence Nishihara. <laughs> Representative Greg Takayama. <laughs> Representative Roy Takumi. Representative Sam Kong. Got it, I skipped. Representative Henry Aquino. <laughs> Representative Jackson Sayama. Council member Brandon Elefante. <laughs> Department of Education Superintendent Keith Hayashi. <laughs> Assistant Deputy Superintendent Heidi Armstrong. Complex Area Superintendent, Keith Huey. <laughs> and Mr. Robert W. Smith, trustee of the High School Band Directors National Association. Our first presentation of the night will be from Governor Ige. It truly is an honor for me to be able to participate in tonight's festivities. Um, I'm probably the only person who was a student actually here at Pearl City High School on the stage. Um, um, and not only that, but I was the very first band president, the first, very first president of the Pearl City High School Band. So, uh, it really is an honor and privilege for me to be here to recognize and honor uh, Chadwick Kame on his induction into the National High School Band Directors Hall of Fame. You know, for me personally, this is a full circle as I was a band geek 
and spent a lot of time in the band room. And many of you don't know, but it started out uh, in A101. So the band room was in A101 because we didn't have a real band room. Uh, and we spent a lot of time there as a school developed. Uh, but this really is full circle for me. This facility was one of the first projects that I got involved with as a representative of this community. And Mike Nakasone can attest to his commitment to building this facility for the students. Um, and I really wanted to add my congratulations to Chad because I, I know that most of you students really don't fully realize what an honor and privilege it's been for you. I've been a supporter of the BAM program because I know personally how it helped me in my development uh, to get into uh, creative activities, as well as understanding how important it is for our students here in the public schools to truly understand what a world-class program looks like and what, with hard work and dedication, knowing that you as students have access to one of the best brand programs in the world, bar none. You know, and tonight's recognition of Director Kame is really a reflection on all of the students because I know he is truly inspired by all of you and does what he does each and every day to ensure that you have the opportunity to understand what it takes what dedication and hard work can result in having you be part of a world-class, best-in-the-world band program. So uh, I really wanted to add my congratulations. I have a commendation that I'd like to present to Director Kame for his long years of service to our community, for giving our students the audacity to dream and be inspired to be the best that they can be. Aloha and congratulations. Okay, thank you, Governor Ige. Next up, we have Senator Bennett Misalucha and her colleagues, Senator Kidani and Nishihara, for their presentation. You can tell from the cheering from the audience that Mr. Kame is very beloved. Yes. Aloha. Aloha. May I first present the people who are here next to me, uh, very beloved as well. First of all, let's give it up for Senator Michelle Kidani. <laughs> also joining me on stage is our beloved Senator Cl uh, Clarence Nishihara of Waipahu. By the way, Senator Nishihara will be retiring shortly. Yesterday, we had a wonderful event where we honored um, his years, 18 years of service. But tonight, we are here to honor also a very beloved figure. And I wanted to share that not only was he named as Hall of Fame, today or the last couple of days, he was again informed that he also won another award. May I share that award, that, that news? So he also won Dr. John K. Long Award for 2022. So this is recognizing the most outstanding high school band director in the nation. <laughs> Now, folks, let, let me provide a context. 
Let me provide a context. There are, were only four people who have been honored and given this recognition. Out of the four, two are from Pearl City High School. <laughs> Michael Nakasone, where are you? Michael Nakasone is the other one. So how blessed are we? Our hearts are just filled with so much pride for our school and for all the, their talent and for them sharing their talent with all of you. So we have a certificate here and it shares all the wonderful things that Chad has done, but at the very end, it says, now therefore, the Hawaii State Senate hereby recognizes and congratulates Chadwick Kamei on his induction to the National High School Band Directors Hall of Fame. Congratulations and keep up the great work. Okay, thank you very much, Senators. Our next presentation, we're going to welcome Representative Greg Takayama and his colleagues, Representatives Takumi, Kong, Akino, and Sayama. Thank you, Joe. You know, um, the previous speakers, Senator uh, Misalucha and Governor Ige, have done such a wonderful job of explaining why we're honoring Chad Kome. And there's not too much I can add except for this. Everything he's done, I think he would be the first to say, is a tribute to each one of you students sitting in these front rows. You give yourselves a hand. That's, that's because over the past two and a half years, you and your families have gone through something no one else has ever had to endure. You've struggled, you've endured all of the hardships of the pandemic, and you've succeeded. No one else can say they've been through what you've been through, particularly you seniors. So each one of you deserve our utmost added uh, respect and admiration, and even though we are here for Director Kame, we're also here for you, each and every one of you. So congratulations, keep up the good work, and we're looking forward to doing, you doing great things in the years ahead. Congratulations. Okay, thank you, representatives. Our next presentation, Council Member Brandon Elefante will come up to make his presentation. Wow, what a night. And this is a testament to an awesome, amazing, gifted, talented leader. But along the way, he had a lot of mentors such as many band directors, including my uncle, who was your band teacher. He's in the audience, in the audience Uncle Arnold from Castle High School. <laughs> Shout out to him. But also, also to your family, Mr. Kame. But I think all the elected officials and governor, um, just like governor, I was in band. I wasn't the band president. Uh, but I can share that many of you students and parents have many long days from marching band to practicing 
to doing all the hard work. And that's because you have a great leader and bandmaster Chadwick Kame. And so Chad, this is such a great honor and I heard a lot of this word today and I'll end it with this. We love you, Bandmaster Kame, and there ain't nothing you can do about it. Okay, thank you, Council Member Alafante. Our next presenter will be Superintendent Hayashi and Assistant Superintendent Heidi Armstrong. Good evening. It's a pleasure uh, to be here. Assistant Superintendent, actually Deputy Superintendent Armstrong and I um, it's a pleasure to be here tonight to join you to recognize uh, Manmaster Man Chadwick Kome. Um, I have known uh, Mr. Kome for, for several years, and as was shared by our other distinguished guests, he is definitely about supporting students, supporting the arts, and I've always been amazed at the work that he's done in supporting students uh, throughout Pro City High School. So on behalf of the uh, 40,000 employees in the Department of Education. Uh, we wish Ch um, Bandmaster Kame all the best in his recognition tonight. Thank you very much. Thank you, Superintendent Hayashi and Assistant Deputy Superintendent Armstrong. Our next, uh, the Complex Area Superintendent for Pro City and Waipahu Area, Keith Hui, will be making our next presentation. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, friends, families, and of course, our, our wonderful students. Wow, how do I follow um, all of the wonderful speeches that just came right before me? I am lost for words right now. I have this speech right here, but I think I'm just about gonna crumple it up and just kinda improvise. You know, um, I think for me, I'm standing here representing our Pro City Waipahu schools, and we're very proud of the work that you've done. Um, not only for Pro City High School, but you really represent all of our schools in our complex area. I think about the opportunities that you provided our students. It's not only here locally, but nationally and internationally also. So uh, our families and our students, our immediate students are very grateful for the opportunities that you provided. And I wanna congratulate you on your recognition tonight. And when I think about the work that you're doing, this is really just the beginning. So we look forward to much more great things to come from you. Yeah, so congratulations on being inducted in the Hall of Fame. Okay. I'm sorry, you see what happens when I wing it? So on behalf of the Pro City Waipahu Complex Area Schools, we want to pre present you with this Certificate of Achievement. So congratulations. Okay, thank you, Complex Area Superintendent Hui. All right, our next, we have a very special video presentation by Dr. Oliver Boone, who is the chairman of the board and executive director of the High School Band Directors National Association.
Good evening. My name is Dr. Oliver Boom, and I am the Executive Director of the High School Band Directors National Association located in Columbus, Georgia. The HSB DNA is home to the National High School Band Directors Hall of Fame. 65 band directors have been inducted into our Hall of Fame. These members represent multiple states from Michigan to Florida and New York to Hawaii. Our Hall of Fame members are recipients of such numerous organizations, including the John Philip Sousa Legion of Honor, the Hall of Fame for Distinguished Band Conductors, and the American Band Masters Association. Members of the High School Band Directors Hall of Fame have distinguished themselves in both the concert and marching genres, as well as leading their bands to performances at national and world state events. Indeed, the members of the HSB DNA Hall of Fame are considered to be among the finest band directors in the nation. Among the prestigious registry of inductees include A.R. McAllister of the famed Joliet High School Band, recognized as the finest high school band in history. Dr. John M. Long, the legendary director who trained more high school band directors in the nation. Michael Nakasone, beloved director of your great state of Hawaii. And John Philip Sousa, the March King. There is even an inductee who was the band director for a president of the United States. The inductees of the National High School Band Directors Hall of Fame represent a virtual who's who in the American band movement. Tonight, the HSB DNA is paying tribute to one of your own, Mr. Chadwick Kamei. Chad Kamei is the director of bands, fine arts department head, and learning center coordinator at Pearl City High School in Pearl City, Hawaii. He joined the staff in 2005 and was appointed to director of bands in 2006. Under his direction, the Pearl City Marching Band has received numerous awards at Oahu's annual competitions and festivals. In 2018, they performed at the Philadelphia Thanksgiving Day Parade in Philadelphia. The marching band has also traveled internationally under Mr. Kamei's direction. Past appearances include Beijing, China and London, England. Known as one of the premier concert programs in Hawaii, the Pearl City High School Symphonic Winds consistently achieves superior ratings at state and local festivals. In 2014, Mr. Kamei founded the University of Hawaii West Oahu University Band. Mr. Kamei received his Bachelor's of, Mus of Education in Music and his Master's in Arts in Music Education from the University of Hawaii. He is currently pursuing his Doctor of Musical Arts and Music Education from Boston University. He holds memberships in the American School Band Directors Association, the National Association for Music Education, the National Band Association, the Hawaii Music Educators Association, and the Oahu Band Directors Association. Mr. Kamei is a Legion Laureate of the John Philip Sousa Legion of Honor, and in 2016, was elected to membership in the prestigious American Bandmasters Association, considered to be one of the highest honors given in the wind band profession. Chad, while on a personal conflict has forbidden me from being with you tonight, I wanted to make this video as an honor to you, your family, and your students. I know you are in good hands with my dear friend and college bandmate, Robert W. Smith, as he presents you with this award. Please know that it represents our recognition of you and your accomplishments. We are very proud of you. Okay, and last, we would like to welcome Mr. Robert W. Smith, trustee of the High School Band Directors National Association, to make the formal presentation. Good evening. Well, we will try this again. <laughs> Governor Ige, distinguished guests, citizens, and most importantly, student citizens of the great state of Hawaii. Aloha. Aloha. Now, I must tell you, I, I stand before you tonight as a member of the Board of Trustees 
of the High School Band Directors National Association based in Columbus, Georgia, and I live not too far away in Alabama. Music is the international language. It requires no translation, but let me translate aloha into deep south. Hey, y'all. <laughs> it is a great pleasure to be here. A great pleasure to be here on the stage at this uh, hallowed halls of this wonderful uh, auditorium and to be here in front of this wonderful audience and most importantly, this very talented and gifted and caring man, Chadwick Kamei. I am so thrilled uh, to be here and to represent and stand instead for Dr. Oliver Boone, who would have been here, he sends his regrets, uh, had a personal medical situation that prohibited him from traveling. And, uh, but I must tell you, uh, Mr. Kamei and I have been friends now for a very long time. Uh, we first met in the year 2000. I was being an, introduced into the American Bandmasters Association and the University of Hawaii Band came to play in Las Vegas and I guess conducted the University of Hawaii Band for the American Bandmasters Association, and a young Chadwick Kamei was playing baritone saxophone in that group <laughs> 22 years ago. And here we are 22 years later, and who would have ever thought that I'd be here to share this particular moment with him and with you. The High School Band Directors National Association is an honored organization that is formed to promote, to encourage, and assist in the excellence of all things high school band. Much like the program at Pearl City, high school band represents literally some of the best that we have to offer in our youth of America. We do things in ways that other subjects don't even begin to approach. A lot of people think of the arts and music as on the periphery of the curriculum, and I would contend that music is literally the center, it's the keystone of the curriculum because we put every subject, every core subject into practice every single day. We teach creativity. We teach that our Fortune 500 companies, they are looking for one key commodity out of the employees that are going to develop and, and, and ensure our future. They're looking for creativity. Here's our resources. This is what we want to do. How do we make this happen? How do we collaborate as humans in a collaborative team to go out and literally change the world? Probably we saw that the most on display during our pandemic when you really realize what we have done, as was so eloquently shared in, uh, by, by one of our previous speakers, what we've done in the past two years has been nothing short of remarkable. It's been a miracle. If you're my age, I'm 63. Frankly, I'm a little incensed that I didn't know more about the Spanish flu. I should have learned more about that so I'd be more prepared for this time when the pandemic hit. Because we had, just after World War I, we had a similar situation. But I must tell you, creativity at its highest to get us through what we've done. And the best of that is sitting in our arts classrooms around America. Please know that the High School Band Directors National Association believes that music education enhances the academic development of each and every child. And I must tell you that in the United States of America, we have something that is very special. In our K through five, some places it's K through six, our elementary levels, music is compulsory. We teach music to every American child. It becomes an elective once you get into middle school, but it is compulsory. And we have the opportunity to affect our entire population. And, per, and not just affect, but to promote for the good and the secure future of present and future generations. What an incredible thing. Now, Mr. Kamei is being inducted tonight into the High School Band Directors National Association Hall of Fame. This is a very distinguished hall. And in the history of the American band movement, there are only 65 people that have received this particular honor. It is very, very unusual that two of them came. In fact, it's the only instance two of them came from the same school and the same band program, and they're both here tonight. You know? Now, if I could, let me, let me tell you just a little about, about what, com what binds these 65 people together. These high school band directors, first off, they are caring. They are caring human beings. They are empathetic. They care about their students. They care about their music programs. They care about their schools. They care about their communities. And they care about music in the daily lives 
of our entire citizenry, our entire population, caring individuals. Each of these 65, they are honorable. They demonstrate the highest ideals that we expect out of American citizens, we expect out of our teachers, out of our education system. They are honorable. They model for our students and our communities. And they model at the absolute highest level. They exemplify the best that is what we would call the human condition. I also tell you these 65, these are all very fine artists. They are artistic. They're great. They're not good. They're great musicians. Speaking music is really important because music truly is the universal language. In my life, I, I'm fortunate to, fortunate to travel the world. I've had a blessed 40-year career, and I travel the world conducting. As I was sharing with a couple of band directors earlier this evening, I can go anywhere on the planet Earth as long as I can speak uh, hello, goodbye, thank you, good morning, good evening, and I can count to 10. That's all I need to do to do a rehearsal for music, literally. I can give them the measure number. I can sing what I want them to, to, uh, to do for me. I can sing what they're doing now, and it just happens. No translation is required. Again, these are artistic human beings, and they exemplify this, the art of music, that universal language, at the absolute highest level. And finally, these 65 are dedicated they're dedicated to excellence. They're dedicated to excellence in education. They're dedicated to their students. They go the extra mile for their students. They go, how many of you realize here in the front, how many of you realize the extra mile that Mr. Kamei goes for you each and every day? Do you agree he does that, yes or no? Okay, there is no doubt. These are dedicated human beings. Service above self, you know? When you really look at it, they're caring, they're honorable, they're artistic, and they're dedicated. C H A D. That spells Chad. And in then all of those instances, there is a kindness that comes from them, that a knowledge and a kindness, their willingness to share their knowledge and kindness. C-H-A-D-K, Mr. Kamei. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of all of music education, we must remember that music matters. It matters. Whenever and wherever humans have existed, so has music and the art of music. It will be here as long as humans walk this earth. It is that it requires us to listen to each other in the most discriminate levels. Think about what our society would be if we could all listen as musicians. You know, in school, if you, if you score a 90 plus percent, that's considered an A. That's really good. Try playing a piece of music and missing one out of every, every 10 notes. What's it gonna sound like? It's not going to sound good at all. These students you're gonna hear tonight are achieving at the 99 percentile plus level to create the music that's gonna be on the stage. And they listen to each other and they're making millions of discriminant decisions every single second. It is so elegant, the art of music and what it does for us. Music matters. We must remember that. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the High School Band Directors Association, I would like to present to Mr. Chadwick Kamei the membership into the High School Band Directors Association Hall of Fame.
So ladies and gentlemen, I do want to encourage each and every one of you, particularly those sitting in the front rows here. Again, when I met Mr. Kamei, he was a student. He was a college student. And 22 years later, here we are. I hope I'm still here 22 years from now, because if it happens, I want to come back. I want to do the presentation. But I challenge each of you, who is going to be the next Michael Nakasone, Chad Kamei? Who is it going to be sitting right here? Where is the greatness? I must tell you, ladies and gentlemen, I personally believe there is a Mozart in every single one of us. Music draws out that superpower. As we heard tonight, and, and it was so, and I did not tell the governor to say that, those of you that did rehearsal me this morning, but in music, we dare to dream, don't we? Didn't we talk about that this morning? The audacity of dreaming, the audacity of hope, the audacity of our future. We do that, and our future is in your hands. Treat the future as it should be treated. Remember, it is a great gift, but it is a tremendous responsibility. Music will take you there, and it will take you in the most elegant way. So again, join me one more time. Our newest member of the High School Band Directors Hall of Fame and the recipient of the 2022 John M. Long Award for being the nation's outstanding high school band director, Mr. Chadwick Kamei. Okay, thank you, Mr. Smith, for that very inspirational presentation. So, uh, so thank you to all our presenters tonight for coming and celebrating this special induction ceremony for Mr. Kamei. And I am going to invite Mr. Kamei up to say a few words before we conclude this portion of the ceremony. Uh, Governor Ige and distinguished guests, aloha and mahalo for this induction to the prestigious High School Band Directors National Hall of Fame and for the special John M. Long Award. I am honored and humbled to receive this amazing recognition from the greatest band organization in our country. Thank you to Dr. Boone and my good friend Robert W. Smith and the HSBDNA officers for this great award, recognizing Dr. John M. Long, one of our greatest band directors in our country. Pearl City High School is a special place in a very special community. We are fortunate to have these incredible opportunities because of the hard work of Pearl City High School band alumni and former directors like Mr. Nakasone. These awards are a testament to the support that we re receive from our parents, community, Department of Education, school administration, and our legislators in this great state of Hawaii. Thank you for your commitment to provide every student in Hawaii with a high quality music education. Thank you for this wonderful recognition, and I humbly accept this on behalf of all of our current and former members of this great band program. Mahalo. Okay, thank you very much, Mr. Kamei. And I'd just like to say a quick thank you to Mr. Nakasone, who was very instrumental in helping us coordinate everything here. He probably doesn't want me to say that because he's, this, he's very insistent that this is all about Mr. Kamei this evening, and I really appreciate about that about him. But I also appreciate, appreciate him being a very good influence on Chad, because I know that he is. So I appreciate that a lot. Uh, I just want to say also, Chad, I'm really thankful, right? We worked together for a long time. I think I have a few gray hairs on my chin because of you, but, but overall, I really, <laughs> not my head, but yeah. So, but, um, 
but I really appreciate that I can just always trust that you have our students' best interest at heart and that I can always trust our students with you. So I really appreciate that, and I'm not going to go into detail because these, these fine um, special guests have done it so well. So thank you, Chad. So with that, I'm going to hand it over. We're going to get we're getting closer to the part that I'm most excited for, which is our band concert and the music. It's coming up, but I'd like to hand the mic back over to Daniel, who's do, who will be great as our MC. I think we're gonna he's gonna help us with the next portion. Thank you, everybody. Thank you.